this is Cookie with Auntie Val, guys. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me and checking in and seeing how I do what I do in my kitchen. I really appreciate it. Guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and you watch me all the time, go ahead on and hit that subscribe button. It'll take but a snitch and make it up your time, guys. Okay? I appreciate it. Listen, for today's video, we're going to be throwing down on some hassle back potatoes, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. These are all of my ingredients that you see before you. These are all the ingredients that I'm going to put on my hassle back potatoes, guys. Okay? So, listen. Thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate you joining me, guys. So, let's get started in this video. Okay, guys. So, let's get started. Let's first get started with cutting our potatoes. Okay? No, you know what? What I first want to get started in is um, melting my butter and my oil together. So you're going to need about, since I'm going to do four potatoes, and the potatoes are kind of, you know, kind of big a little bit there. What I'm going to do is, I'm trying to grab some garlic powder. I forgot to put that out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take about, about three tablespoons of my, uh, my butter. And this is unsalted butter take about three tablespoons of, of my uh, my butter and then I'm going to uh, then I'm going to add in about about a teaspoon of my olive oil okay this should be enough butter it should but I mean you know you just never know you never know these things guys hold on one minute let me take my my measuring my measuring things here. Okay. You know what? We're going to do two. Two tablespoons. So that's three tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay? We're going to put all that in there and then we're going to add in our, um, Gonna add in our garlic butter. I'm sorry, garlic butter. Lord have mercy. Y'all, sometimes I just be rambling on, don't even know what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's how I feel, okay? That don't mean I don't know what I'm doing. Garlic powder. I'm gonna put in some garlic powder. I don't want the butters to touch when I'm gonna kinda, yeah. And we're gonna put probably about a tablespoon. Okay, about a tablespoon of garlic powder in, in with our butter and our olive oil. Okay, so we're gonna melt this down, okay? So we're gonna pop this in the microwave here. We're gonna put it on about a minute or so. Okay, so now while that's doing that, what we're gonna do next, it is time for us to start setting our potatoes. Now I saw a couple of people, cause I was trying to, you know, I was wondering how do they get the, uh, make the potatoes where it's not down all the way completely through? And then, easy breezy, lemon squeezy. You can just get you two, either knives or something that's leveled off about the same, and just put them on there like that. Can y'all see me? Yeah, okay. And then you just cut them. Because, uh-oh. Gotta make sure I hold it, y'all. Gotta make sure I hold it steady there. Okay? And then you just wanna cut. Thank you. 
guys, so now that we have gotten all of that together here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to place my potatoes into my baking pan that I'm going to use to bake them in. Put this out of the way. The next one I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of open them up a little bit here. Well, actually, I could use this little cup and I'm going to set it down and I'm going to kind of open them up so that I can pour butter down in them. Okay? So if it has something to kind of push open on, which I chose a little bowl. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of pour some of the some of the butter down in between each one of them. Come on guys, you gotta open up. tray and put it under the next one okay so you can kind of fan out for me so it won't be so hard to put the butter in, down in between them okay now we're gonna do this one four simple you know you could use anything that could you just need something to go underneath it to kind of help the flaring out of them of the potatoes okay now I don't have very much butter left so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do take this other piece of butter and just melt this in the microwave melt that on 35 seconds shouldn't be long Okay guys, I will butter has melted, not a whole lot, but it has melted some of the rest. Put it, you know, kind of mix it in with the other butter that's melted, it will make it melt fast. Okay, so now I'm going to continue. Oops. I'm gonna continue guys. I'm gonna pour some butter down. Ooh, oh a little warm here. Down in the middle of these over here. Make sure I get them all in. Everything. Then I'm gonna take what's left. I'm just gonna push it, you know I me, mean, not push it. Just kind of place it on top here. Okay, and get some off the bottom here. Okay, let me move this out the way first. Okay, you just want to put the butter on top so you want to get that crisp taste on the outside of your potatoes, boys. And with the oil, the oil also helps it to get a little crisp. Okay. Okay. Okay guys, so next, we want to put some salt on top of our potatoes, okay? Sprinkle some salt on top of each one. This will kind of help with the crispiness of it, okay? And the black pepper won't hurt nothing. Okay guys, so now what I'm gonna do is place these in the oven. 
and place this in the oven, guys, okay? And I'll be back in about maybe 20 minutes or so. I'm gonna check it at 20. They may not be that done. It may take a little longer, maybe 40 minutes, but I'll be back to let you know, guys, okay? Don't go nowhere, I'll be right back. This is what they're looking like after 20 minutes, and I think that I can let them cook a little longer because I want them to be soft, okay? I don't want them to be hard at all. So I'm gonna let them stand about another 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna set my timer back on, then I'll be right back. Hey, guys. It's been about 45 minutes and our potatoes are ready. Looky, looky guys, you can still hear the sizzle whizzle. All right. All right. Okay guys, so now we gone. Oh shoot, I just put, oh man. Y'all, let me show you what I did. Moving too fast, broke one of my potatoes. Broke one of my potatoes. Wanted to take him out and set him on the plate. Ah, uh, okay. I think because they are, they are as done as they are, um, I'm guessing they are going to be like that. But it's okay. Okay, come on, baby. You're the last one. We got this. Yes, sir. Okay, guys. So now let me top it. And then I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Now it's time for our toppings, okay? First, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put some cheese on top. And I'm going to set it back in the oven for maybe a minute or two because I want the cheese to kind of melt down in it. Okay. So let me just get this cheese going on here, y'all. I'm gonna kind of open them up and now look, I know this has got like a lot of cheese and a lot of a lot of butter, kind of fattening. Yeah, I know, I know. Look, this is like a treat, okay? You're gonna treat yourself. You ain't gonna eat this every day, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna put a little cheese down in it, you know. Okay, now we're gonna do this, this big baby in the middle here. I'm gonna slice some cheese down in the middle, down in it. Then we're gonna put some on top of it, y'all. Oh, this is gonna be good. You can smell the garlic on it, yes, honey. Okay, we got one more potato to go. Since we know that it's done, done, I just want the cheese to melt, you know. Have it a little cheesy. Put the cheese down in the middle, the middle of it. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put a little more cheese on top. Just so that it can melt all over. Oh, man, this is just one of those really, really, really treat treatful meals you treat yourself on this with this kind of meal here you know okay guys I think I have enough cheese on it okay I'm gonna pop this back in the oven for about just a couple minutes I just want some of the cheese to start to melt guys okay so I'll be right back okay guys and there you have it my deliciousness a little uh, just a little treat guys you don't eat this kind of meal every day because it is it is heavy with a lot of butter and oil and cheese and whatnot but it is really good and it is like I said a little fattening so when you want when you fix this meal you want to maybe have some vegetables to go with you guys okay look if you enjoyed yourself with me today and if you like I do what I do when I do what I do in my kitchen subscribe to my channel guys share my channel with your family and friends and until next time guys bye Thank you.